Well, I'm an East Side San Jose boy, born and raised, um, attended Overfell High School. I'm a simple guy, like simple things, uh, uh, movies, you know, music. Me and Kim shockingly met online. Um, yes, online dating is possible. <laughs> and uh, we met through a site and talked for a little while and turned into a relationship. I was in Fresno and I was single and I got on a dating site and he sent me a message and I was like, oh, hi, how are you? And we chit chatted back and forth to eventually exchanging phone numbers and text messaging. Uh, we did like one or two, a couple video chats, that was it. And it didn't go anywhere, right? That was 2015, didn't go anywhere. Um, and <coughs> I said, okay, well, he's just somebody I met, nice conversation. Uh, we stayed in contact on Facebook every now and then, he'd say hello. And um, when I was applying for a job in Santa Clara County, uh, he's the only person I know up there in the Bay Area. So I reached out to him on Facebook and said, hey, I'm you know, applying for a job. What does the um, rent look like out there? You know, the cost of living. And he was like, oh, wow, are you gonna move to San Jose? I said, not sure, but you know, I'm trying to see my options. And from there, he, he started messaging me all the time, checking in on me, seeing if I was gonna be moving to San Jose. And once I got, the, once I got to San Jose, we, um, he was excited that I was moving, and we still hadn't met in person yet, all this time. So from 2015, the summer of 2016, we still have not met. And then um, I, my mother and I had actually accepted the job. My mother and I were looking for a play, apartments for me to live in, and uh, we spent all day looking, and finally we were done, going back to the hotel, and I had some free time. And so I said, well, the only thing that I know nearby was at Denny's. And he's like, yeah, okay, I'll, let's meet at Denny's. And so that is where we first met, at Denny's. Well, I was born in Fresno, California. So I'm from the Central Valley. Um, I come from a two-parent home, my mother and father and they are still married, and I just have one sibling, my brother. Um, I went to school in Fresno. I graduated from Edison High School. I uh, went away to college, um, to New Orleans at Xavier University, and found myself back in California for graduate school to earn my master's at Pepperdine University. I worked um, in a couple different places, and. Ultimately, around 2016, I got a job in Santa Clara County, San Jose, and that is where the story of me and John began. Well, kind of. Uh, my first impression of Kim was that she was a very smart, intelligent person, uh, very outgoing, and fun to talk to. He's a nice guy. That was probably my first impression, he's a nice guy. Our first kiss was shockingly at her place. We were there chilling, watching a movie or some show, and it just happened. And she would like to say that it took me forever, but it ended up happening. It was great. <laughs> so our first kiss, um, John would come over to my house and hang out, and then he would go home, and we would just watch TV, talk, maybe have a bite to eat, and so. We were sitting on my couch, we were at my place, we were sitting on my couch, and we were talking, and I was like, is he ever gonna kiss me? Like, ever? You know? He's just, it's not gonna make a move, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and so me being me, I was like, so are you gonna kiss me? You know, I just put him out on Front Street, just like that. And that is how we had our first kiss. <laughs> Denny's would be our first date. <laughs> That's where we first met at Denny's. Uh, I think I had hot cocoa that evening. I forgot what he ordered. Maybe the same, but yeah, Denny's. 
Our first date was the first time we actually met. She came to San Jose for a job interview and we met at a local Denny's um, late in the, mid in the night hour. Um, and that was our first time meeting each other, first date. Our first trip we took together um, was over to Thailand. We went over to Thailand as a birthday getaway for Kim. Um, it was something she'd been wanting to do for a long time and it ended up turning into our engagement trip, so it was a good trip. Oh gosh, <laughs> the proposal was almost a disaster. Uh, we were over in Thailand, as I said, and the first night I had planned for us to go to the top of the roof at the hotel's outdoor restaurant overlooking the city. I had planned it for the first night and she ended up not wanting to go out to dinner <laughs> that night and we had a fuss about it that we had to prolong it till the next day and I had to hold on to this a whole extra day and almost didn't even go the second night because she just didn't want to, but I made her go and we ended up doing it on the roof and it was an amazing time. Well, it went interesting. It almost did not happen. I didn't even know he was gonna propose. I did not know he even asked my parents for my hand in marriage. Um, I had no clue of any of that. So, um, it was going to be my 35th birthday and I wanted to go um, travel. I like traveling and I wanted to go on a trip to Thailand. I've always wanted to visit Thailand. So I said, hey, you know, for my 35th birthday, I'm going to Thailand. I want you to come with me. And he was like, okay, you know, a little reluctant at the beginning, but finally said, okay. Well, the trip, we couldn't take it in February, the month of my birthday. We had to take it in March. So, you know, it's still my birthday trip. It's just a little month later. Um, we get to the airport, and that's a story in itself. I won't go into detail, but we almost didn't make it, but we get to the airport, we're on the plane, and he has his backpack, his carry-on. And, and we stop in China, and then we get to Thailand, and each time he's carrying this backpack and holding on to it for dear life. We land in Thailand, and we're sightseeing, and. We're in markets and buying things and he's just stuffing everything in the backpack. And I'm like, let me organize it for you. Let me help you. And he would never let me touch the backpack. And I had no reason, no clue why. The first night we uh, got there, we were supposed to go to dinner. I was tired and I said, I don't want to go to dinner. Let's just get massages and go to sleep. And that's what we did. Unbeknownst to me, he was trying to propose that night so the rest of our trip we could enjoy as an engaged couple. So second day, same thing, but he the, he was adamant about us going to dinner. So we'd go to a, a rooftop um, restaurant at our hotel overlooking the city and he starts talking to me about, you know, wow, i never been on a trip around the world and, you know, you've opened my eyes and, you know, this is just a great opportunity and, you know, taking in the moment and I started taking in a moment and then I was like oh we would need to find somewhere else to eat I don't like the food here let's go and he's like no let's just take it in me not knowing what's going on I'm ruining the moment that he's trying to propose anyhow <laughs> anyhow he's like yeah you know so I just wanted to let you know and then he gets down on a knee and he opens he goes and reaches in his pocket and he opens up this box and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you serious? And then I didn't even believe it was serious. I was like, is this for real? Are you, are you serious? Because I had no clue. But I said yes, of course. And that's how we got engaged. That was the proposal. Oh gosh, I would say after dating him for a while and seeing his consistency um, and just knowing that he wasn't gonna go anywhere um, you know, he's always looking out for me, um, his character, you know, the person that he was. I was like, he's, he's the guy. I realized Kim was the one, oh, just maybe within a year of us dating and stuff, um, we just really got to know each other really well. And, um, I knew after spending some time with her that, you know, it could be something that could last for a long time. I have one funny story, it was when me and Kim were in the car driving together, we were going somewhere and 
somehow she jumps in my lap, no explanation, and just screaming like, ah! And I'm just constantly saying, what's wrong, what's wrong? She would not tell me what's wrong. Come to find out there was a bug or a bee or something that jumped in the window, landed on her. She jumps in my life and I'm swerving across the road trying to figure out what's going on. She has a total fear of bugs and it's just funny as heck. John is the funniest. Um, he does this thing, we have this, we have a couple of little inside jokes that we have. Um, and if I do this and he ever sees this, he'll know exactly what it is. You'll know what that is. Of course, me. <laughs> I'm gonna say John. John is probably the better cook. He likes to cook. Like I said, he's a foodie. He's into food. So, um, I like that he has a positive attitude for the most part. All the time, you can find John laughing, joking. He's jovial, um, and I like that he's reliable. You know. Um, you can count on John, and I see a lot of people that know him, that have known him way longer than me, they say the same thing. So I do love that about him. She would like to say that she is the tightest, but I think we're both tidy in our own ways. I'll leave it at that. We're probably both stubborn. It may not seem like it, I might seem a little bit more stubborn, but He's very stubborn, and I think we, we have that alike. He's probably more reluctant. No, 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 not reluctant. More, I'll just say this. He'll probably give in sooner than I will. Very different. Um, I, I like to have explanations for everything. He's real just like, this and that, real simple. We don't need all the explanation. Is this what you need? Okay, that's what you need. We don't need to talk about it. We don't need to discuss it. And I like to discuss the reasons why, why not, options. Very different in that way. We're also different in, um, I would say, probably food. He's a foodie, loves food. I like food too. He's probably way more into food than I am in that aspect, so we're kind of different there, but we both like to eat, so. Um, better taste and style, I would say Kim. Uh, she's very good at coordinating colors and putting things together in outfits, so I'll give her the win on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and say I do. I mean, now you can't tell John that. You can't tell him that. He, he's always styling. He's got these these suits with these stripes and all kinds of things happening. And he's like, oh, I'm dressed to the T. But, you know, to each his own. Oh, clearly I do. I'm like the best driver. <laughs> There's a lot of drivers out there on the road that just cannot drive. Yeah, I'm probably a better driver. I would like to say who drives safest. <laughs> and I would say that's me. I ain't gonna go into no more detail. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't change anything about Kim because the way she is is the way that I like her and love her. And I feel if I changed anything, she wouldn't be who she is, so. I'm probably not gonna change anything. I really, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, that's so cliche, but no. Um, I like him how he is, and I don't think if he was, if he was different, then he wouldn't be him. In five years, I see me and Kim in a home, um, successful in our marriage, uh, children, um, and just looking for the next adventure that God has for us. Oh gosh, okay. So, in five years, possibly having a child, uh, possibly moving into a home, a forever home, um, probably a little bit different career um, 
that I've moved into, still in psychology and working with people, but um, a different aspect of it. Um, and us probably just um, helping and supporting people and helping lead them to Christ. I'll do this and she'll know what I mean. Well. <laughs> Well, he'll know what that means. That's it. Love you, John. See you on the other side as your bride.